Hi, my name is Ryan Marr. I am a senior in the Animal Sciences Industry Program here at Kansas State. For my research project, I partnered with Dr. Chow um, to investigate collagen characteristics and collagenous activity in woody breast meat. Currently, the broiler industry faces a prevalent quality issue known as woody breast condition. For those that are unfamiliar with this issue, figure one in the bottom left of the slide depicts normal and woody breast fillets. Visually, we can see that woody breasts on the right appear more swollen and have more white stripes as opposed to the normal breasts on the left. Not only do these differences run visually, but also texturally. Affected, uh, affected myopathy, affected, by, affected breast meat has been described as being tough and rubbery, which many consumers do not find appealing. Although a greater collagen content has been observed in woody breast myopathy, there lacks a connection as to how it relates to the meat's abnormal texture. Therefore, the objective of the study was to relate collagen characteristics to, uh, to meat texture, as well as identify differences in collagenase activity between normal and woody breast fillets. To accomplish this, we to accomplish this, we analyzed seven woody and seven normal breast fillets. For collagen characteristics, we measured uh, we measured collagen concentration by hydroxyproline content, which is a major protein in collagen. And in addition, we also measured the mature collagen crosslink densities, uh, deoxyperidinolin and pyridinolin. We measured meat texture directly by using the Warner Bratz or shear force method on cooked breast meat. Thermal stability was also measured um, based on the peak denaturation temperature of paramecium. Examples of how we, uh, how we derive the peak denaturation temperature can be seen in figure two on the bottom of your screen. We also measured collagen, uh, collagenase activity based on the amount of active MMP2, which is a specific type of collagenase. Figure three in the bottom left, the bottom right of your slide, you can see the differences between inactive and active forms of representative um, MMP2 zymograms. We also measured pH. Continuing on, I'll show you the results, which are on the next slide. Table one shows a comparison of the response values between each treatment along with the corresponding standard error and P value. Looking down the table, we can see that there that Woody Breast had higher, had greater values for collagen concentration and both uh, mature crosslink densities. However, despite these differences, the Warner Bratzer shear force showed that Woody Breast had a lower value compared to the normal breast. This may be this, which should be noted that this that this was similar to other research findings um, in other studies. Um, this may be an indication that Warner Bratzer shear force may not be a great um, assessment uh, to meat texture. So we should probably look into something more that looks at uh, rubbery texture as opposed to shear force texture. Continuing on, we can also see that um, peak, denaturation, uh, peak denaturation, denaturation temperature was higher in woody breast meat, um, which also goes along with the assessment for meat texture saying that even if there was a lower value for Warner Bratzer shear force, there may be something else at play for um, causing a higher peak denaturation temperature. We can also see that woody breast meat had a higher uh, percentage of activated MMP2, which also may be corresponding to the higher pH. From these results, we can conclude that, Warner breast or, that woody breast had a greater collagen concentration and greater cross line densities compared to normal breast, uh, which may have caused the higher peak denaturation temperature as well as the abnormal rubbery texture. Conversely, there was also uh, observed greater collagenase activity found in the woody breast meat as opposed to normal breast meat. Um, and this might have been enhanced due to the free calcium content and the more neutral pH. Additional research may be needed to link the collagen characteristics and collagenase activity observed in the dissipation of, of woody breast meat found in the study conducted by Byron et al. This, uh, this may also 
some additional research may also be needed to um, figure out better post handling, post mortem handling strategies to minimize the impact of this quality issue. Uh, thank you for listening, and with that, I'll take any questions.